right? So now that we've got these isolated and split, how do we solve this inequality? Well, we have to cancel the minus six, which means we're gonna go plus six plus six. Okay, so that leaves us with what? Uh, x is, yeah. uh, oh, cool. x is less than nine. Cool. All right. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here on the other side. We're gonna go plus six plus six again. So, that gives us x, because these cancel. And now it's greater than? Three. Yeah, three, good. All right. Now going back to here, when it was already isolated, the absolute value was isolated. So am I gonna have an and or an or? Um, an and. Because it was less than, yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be an and. So you can just type that into Alex, or you could take the smaller number, and x, and the larger number, you can say, okay, x is greater than three, or three is less than x, and at the same exact time, x is less than nine. So both of those would give you a correct response for the original question right here. This is the original question in Alex. Okay, right. and then for like the little time, like the number line, would I yeah. just do it at like nine and three? Yeah, if you were going to make the number line, if they said graph it, you would put a nine, you would put a three. Because there's no or equal to, you would put open circles. So let's see, it's good different color. Open circles, and it's got to be bigger than three, and at the same time, less than nine. So it would be between them. So this would be the graph, if they asked you for the graph. And then either one of these would be good answers if they wanted you to just say, what is the solution to absolute value of x minus six is less than three. Okay. And what section was this in? Um, like, what unit? Yeah, unit and section, which um, day? Unit two, day two practice. Unit two, day two, cool. Yeah. Good question. 